ensure that the power supply to the tank is switched off. Fill the tank with water, turn a hot water tap on inside the house. Allow the water to run through the line until the water flow is steady and then turn it off. A duo valve is located on the cold inlet line. Turn the duo valve off, then disconnect the solar return line and remove it from the tank. Plug the male connection into the tank fitting. Leave the return line end of copper pipe open. Turn the duo valve on, then turn the pump controller on and let water run through the open end of the return line for 20 seconds. This water will be very hot, so take the necessary precautions to avoid being burned. Turn off the duo valve, remove the cap on the tank fitting and quickly reconnect the open end of the return pipe before any air can get in the line. To ensure that all air has been bled from the flow and return lines, disconnect the pump from the solar controller and then plug it directly into the power point. Set to a speed of three. Loosen the screw on the face of the pump and allow the system to run for three minutes. Water should trickle out of the fitting. Once this happens, tighten the screw back up. Disconnect the pump at the power point and reconnect back to the solar controller. Plug the solar controller back into the power point and turn the switch on. This is crucial in maintaining correct roof sensor temperatures and proper operation of the solar hot water system. Do not bleed the line through the pressure temperature relief valve. Turn the pump speed down to its slowest speed. Adjust the flow meter to the appropriate speed based on the collector size. The maximum flow rates are 1.5 liters per minute for a 22 tube collector, 2 liters per minute for a 30 tube collector, 2.5 liters per minute for a 40 tube collector. It is important to check all the connecting pipes to ensure that there are no leaks.